Hello everyone, Kent with Zuna and I want to discuss three indicators which uh, will provide you information regarding the indicators. At the same time, we've had so many questions about these three indicators. I'm going to also take care of those email questions with this video. Uh, essentially, one swipe move and I'm going to take care of a few things at the same time, which is the way I like it. And just trying to be efficient. If you guys do, if you guys do have questions that are not covered in this email, then please resend, resubmit an email to us because there's so many emails that we're not going to have to. Uh, we're just going to try to answer everything in this video instead of taking the time to answer the, every single one of those individually. We trade full time, and we have very limited time to. Uh, well, of course, we answer emails, but when we can take care of a bunch of emails at once I'd rather do it that way now let's start with the volume histogram okay that uh, this is a histogram that shows you the volume for each interval just like any other volume histogram the difference is that we have it coded so you can see the white can the white volume bars are basically volume that's lower than normal volume and then you have bars that the volume bars that are colored a dark brown color like these two those are higher than normal volume and then you have yellow volume bars that's your extremely high volume so there's three different variations in the volume now we don't use most volume indicators have an average a simple moving average and anything that's equal or greater than that is usually considered high volume so it's either and it's just considered high volume so the rest of it is left to the trader to figure out if it's extremely high volume or if it's higher than normal volume here we take care of that by making it black and white it's either extremely high volume or if it's higher than normal volume so automatically you have two references three references you know higher than normal volume which is something like this you also know lower than normal volume which is white and then you know where the extreme volume came in which is the yellow volume bars and the nice thing about it is that we're not using a, a subjective look back period so you cannot take this indicator and say I wanted to I want to use a moving average of 50 days or 50 bars or 30 bars or 20 bars etc there's no because that is quite subjective and frankly it's meaningless on a one minute chart of 50 period look back what does that tell us? It's counting 50 bars. On a five minute chart, 50 look back is counting almost two thirds. It's counting about close to close to two thirds of the session of a index feature session. That is, so on a 15 on a 30 minute chart, you know, 50 period look back would be almost uh, s several days, three days or more, uh, th more than three days actually. So. <clears throat> What, what this indicator does doesn't use any kind of subjective moving average to figure out high volume and in fact it doesn't take into consideration anything that occurred in the prior days okay because we use a separate indicator for that and that's this indicator on the bottom the next thing is through the years I've noticed how taking a look at the histogram and then looking at price charts all that eye movement creates distraction particularly if you're watching a lot of instruments and it also you don't really get to see the patterns because you don't see the volume in the price bars or in the price candles and that's where the value of a volume histogram really occurs is when you begin to associate the volume with the price bars okay so what this paint bar study does is plot the same information here on the price chart the only difference is you have four some of the images on the website for, on the page for this indicator will show you the price bar is being painted either this yellow color or the dark brown color like here and the candles that have white volume bars associated with them are not painted at all here it's almost the same thing the only difference is that I've chosen four colors to express this volume information and the reason for that is because I want to be able to see if it's an up candle by that I mean if it's a candle that has a close greater than it's open or if it's a down candle if it's a candle that has an open greater than it's close okay so this is a down candle it's painted dark magenta because it has higher than normal volume 
this is a down candle that has extremely high volume associated with this yellow bar but since it's a down candle it's painted magenta color so that gives you an idea and the same thing with up candles cyan color expresses extremely high volume on an up candle and a dark cyan color expresses higher than normal volume on an up candle okay Th this information allows me to see patterns and allows me to see how volume affects price at major swing points and this allows me to over time understand price action and be able to pick up on patterns that are repeatable in the markets all the time since the markets are an expression of all the individuals that participate in them and since there are a certain few firms that control these markets and those firms have to be operating under certain guidelines that are not subjective that are objective they are going to have predictable patterns and if you can pick up on their predictable patterns then you'll be able to trade much more successfully and as a general law of supply demand is based on the individuals as well and if those individuals are human beings which they are they're going to be using some sort of an objective pattern or objective objective methodology and again they have patterns that you can pick up with over time but if you isolate the pattern just only by price then you're going to not see the entire story you're only going to see part of the story so that's these two indicators the indicator on the bottom takes a look at volume in a completely different way because looking at volume just based on today that could be limiting that is limiting actually so we need to also understand the volume of today in relationship to prior volume that occurred on prior sessions and that's what the objective of this indicator is that's one of its objectives and so if we take a look at this day and if we just had volume indicator the histogram and the paint bars we can see that this price that this price break here had high volume in it but when we look at the market down here at the relative volume ratio we see that all in all compared to past data comparing the volume that occurred here was really it did begin to increase from here and forth but notice that it's gray color and it's not yellow color and what's that's what that is telling us is that this is a ratio and the ratio is much lower and it's lower because this volume is not compared to previous market activity didn't attract a lot of attention so that move this particular move is not as important therefore this particular swing point that occurred here is not that particularly important important in the longer scheme okay in contrast this swing point that occurred here is extremely important because you could see the spike in volume rel volume ratio this relative volume ratio and then notice how it didn't spike up anymore okay it uh, in fact began to decline all the way to here okay and then it began to pick up from here and it continued to pick up now you could sort of see that in this histogram too but sometimes on some days it's not as easy to see it in this histogram in fact most days it's not as easy to see it in that histogram and you can see that it started to increase and increase and so you know now that this market's not going to reverse at this point and go back up because so you can confidently take short trades and it continued to increase which gave you the confidence to short this rally instead of thinking this is a reversal and now in order to short this rally you needed to know when to short it okay so we have a consolidation here Okay, and that consolidation was on high volume that's going to be overhead supply so as soon as we get up to that level that's your resistance level that's where you would have should look to that's the highest likely point to short the market the other piece of information that helps you is this rally notice none of the bars on this up on the up bars none of the up candles that is to say have any kind of paint bar associated with them that's because it occurred on very very low volume okay that's telling you that this is a rally to be short now let's take a look at this next day here okay another way to use this indicators first let's take a look at the open here's we opened here as you can see on the first bar volume was nice and then it and the volume ratio began to decline 
okay and it declined so much it went out under one and it began to plot it as gray this gives you this tells you that the 10 o'clock market if that doesn't bring in volume into the market then this day is going to be a very very dull dull choppy day but then at 10 o'clock which was the first scheduled event or economic report volume began to come in volume ratio began to rise then it turned into yellow and then on this decline it rised and then something interesting happened at the open at the bottom of this decline it rised it continued to rise even though price couldn't make any successful closes lower than the previous lows and the price began to rise and we have this bulge of market activity this becomes a very important swing point for the remaining of the day and the days afterward and then what ended up happening the ratio began to decline and it continued to decline all the way into the afternoon telling us that no other serious moves are going to take in place in the afternoon because of this fact so these are the these are the ways you can use this indicator you can also use it for reversals low bar with high volume becomes support you can also use it for taking profits on it if you're short up here or if you're long etc in general you're going to always see at swing points major swing points high volume there's so many uses for it but it's hard to put it all in this video however uh, like I said before, three indicators, if that was all my choice, these would be the three.